Good morning, Off The Grid Forum guys. Hey, it's Jay, and um, I'm going to do a quick video here. I have one left, rate one uh, pro radio left to program here, and I figured I'd, I know a few of you guys have had some questions, and we've all been working through it, and uh, I'm just getting used to it myself. Um, finished program programming some last night, and I had one left to do, so I figured I'd do a quick um, run through on just to see it in live time to see just kind of how easy it is really once you have the programming in place. So first thing you're going to need is you're going to need your programming cable, obviously. Um, I know there's a lot of complaints about the Baofeng ones. Um, there's a lot of other ones that I think everyone says are a lot better out there. But uh, I got this one to work on mine, so it worked out all right. So first thing you do is obviously you need to go into your chirp program, which you should have already which you should already have downloaded there. So there's Chirp. We'll get that open. And my computer, my laptop runs a little slow, so bear with me here as it opens. So you can see here everything is, it, it's open, but it looks blank, so you may think something is wrong. But if you look at the top side of the screen, you have File, Edit, View, Radio, Help. What we're looking at here is we need to go into File there's going to be new, open, open stock configuration, recents. We're going to go to open because we need to open and we need to open a file that I currently already have downloaded. So if you look here, we have I have Baofeng, another Baofeng. Um, I name everyone's file that I do that I download for so that I can keep track of it there. We'll scroll down. Whoops. So there's J Climber file, so we'll get that open. That's my radio. And give it a moment and it'll open. So there it's open. So we have our file open. So what we need to do next, I'm keeping it the way it is because I'm programming all the radios identical. Click on radio. There's download from radio, upload from radio. We want up we want or upload to radio. We want to upload to the radio this file. So I'm gonna click that. Notice right away it asks you what port you're using. I'm using COM5, which is for my laptop, it's the one, it's uh, the USB port on the right that's nearest me. That's just me. There's different ones you can use. It asks you for the vendor, which is Baofeng model UV5R. Hit OK. Now it's going to give you the instructions for what to do. It says to turn your radio off, connect the cable to the mic speaker connector, which is that USB cable um, port, so I'm plugging that in. Make sure your connector is firmly connected. Turn the radio on. They want you to turn it up as loud as it will go. Set it at 100%. Ensure that the radio is tuned to channel with no activity. So now we need to plug our cable into our radio. So you're going to do it where your where your uh, where your two pin prong goes. Plug it in. Make sure it's secure. Now I found out last night some of these are a little loose, the upper pin, the small pin, so you may need to hold it like this to push that top pin in a little bit more, okay? So we've got that, we're gonna hit okay. Now it's telling you to proceed with an experimental drive. Do you wanna proceed? Yeah, 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 it's all the firmware stuff. Yes. Now uh, you notice here it's saying clone progress, cloning. The radio itself is blinking. It's, it's downloading everything that you see on the screen there. Takes just a few seconds, that's it. And that's it. All set, radio's programmed, there's nothing else you need to do, you're done. Now what you can do here is you can go in and 
you can go ahead and save this under if this is somebody's specific radio you can save this as their file um, so you can you know you would just click on file hit save as and then type in who you want it to be and you can always send that file to that person so that they can download it that way um, so that's really it it's that easy guys if any of you want um, want me to send this to you I can delete um, I can take the file and delete everything that is um, you know my area um, that's for my area like the you know scanner frequencies and whatnot I'd be happy to um, you know email you that file but um, that's it and let's say you know um, one one other thing let's say if you wanted to um, you know download a different file like one of the Patriot radio channels or militia radio um, frequency sheets um, you download it and then you pull it up the exact same way that's all you need to do it's really that simple um, if you have any questions ask on the, you know ask in the comments down below but that's it guys so thanks a bunch and uh, keep doing what you're doing thanks bye